Next up, it is Python on Hardware Time. All right, so uh, I've got an extended version. I'm just going to do a quick recap of some of the things from the newsletter, and then I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, I normally do a rant and stuff like that, yeah. there, but there's always like a moral of the story, or there's like, hey, this is like the next action to do good. This is a good one. It all coincides with uh, happy birthday, MicroPython. It's their eighth birthday, turned eight years old on April 29th. 2013 was when Damien, the creator of MicroPython, wrote the first line of code private before Yay. anyone knew about it, before it was even called MicroPython. Mm -hmm. Now, MicroPython is used in all sorts of microcontrollers and more. Version 1.15 was just released two weeks ago with some great features. So in the newsletter, you can see all the things that are going on in the world of Python. Uh, Python Software Foundation uh, just added Microsoft as a visionary sponsor. Yay. Adafruit is a, uh, I, think, I think we're called participant sponsor. So we're sponsoring PyCon this year. Um, you can check out Tom's Hardware with a review of the Adafruit Itsy Bitsy RP2040. They've been doing all those. Scott has a deep dive, um, does these each week. You can see um, all sorts of projects. Uh, I'm just going to highlight a couple before I go into the MicroPython birthday stuff and neat story about open source. Uh, this I thought was cool. This is a Black Panther smart display alarm clock, and it uses Marvel's API. I didn't know Marvel had an API. That's cool. And I don't know why I didn't know this is like... Of course kinda, I do. Um, so anyways, check it out, and you can get like... All the neat stats and all sorts of things from the Marvel Universe. Um, Todd's still working on this MIDI controller. Um, we've got this Trinky Dance Party. This is uh, using colors and, you know, all sorts of things uh, with the Adafruit Neo Trinky and CircuitPython. A lot of these are CircuitPython, the visual thermometer. This is a theremin. Here's a really neat pool temperature project that yeah. you have the temperature of the pool, sends it to a mag tag on the refrigerator, and that's when the, grandki the grandkids will then know, and this is the story behind this, um, when uh, it's okay to go in the pool because that'd be a certain temperature. And uh, this is on Hackaday IO. So lots of good stuff. So many projects, too many. It's getting to the point each week that it's nearly impossible um, so go check it to out. keep track of everything. Lots of keyboard projects this week too. Yeah. Um, but you name it, it's being made in Python. And um, I think we're at a good spot where we could talk about like you know one of the many successes in open source because mm. people are like, why do open source? So here's this week's talk I wanted to do. Do you need to get like a little thing? It's like Phil's talk. Happy birthday. I had an article thing at Make. It was called like Phil's Soapbox. Mm -hmm. um, happy birthday, MicroPython, eight years old. And one of the cool things about MicroPython is yes. it's open source. That's right. And um, there's lots of and ways. very open source. Yeah, there's lots of ways you can support an open source project or company or individuals. Oh, you mean like giving money to the FSF? I wouldn't suggest we discuss the FSF during this segment. We're going to stick to You mean there's other ways to support open source? Yeah. So Great. Um, one of the ways you can do it is uh, I just did a very quick search on our blog. So we have 883 posts dedicated to MicroPython. There's a lot more, but that's yeah. just that's just, just the, the top. And you can search via Google um, site-specific and see there's there's probably thousands by now. And so one of the things that you can do when you want to help open source is get the word out about good things they're doing so more developers get involved, more people who want to do documentation, more people who want to do events, more. Everybody, there's, a, there's a role for everyone in open source. That's one of the things you can do. And if we were to have little check boxes, check, we did that. But this is all stuff that everyone can do. Here's the other thing. Let's say you have an electronic store like Adafruit.com. Well, Damien and um, his company made the pie board. We stock the pie board. We buy the pie board, we send Damien money. That's right. And then we get pie boards, and then we sell them to you. And we sell the accessories, too. So that is a way to support. Yes. So you got, you could get the word out, bring people together, write about things, celebrate stuff. You could physically buy stuff. Here's another thing you can do. Oh, and we also have some of the accessories, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you could go to our website, and you could check out, you know, pie board and MicroPython Skins, pie board. Yeah. All that stuff. You can buy them right now. Other thing we did was we like, well, this is kind of cool. Let's make a sticker. And this was, um, they had artwork, but we said, well, hey, we can we can make the artwork um, print ready and we'll make stickers. And one of the things we did with the sticker, because you're like, oh, are you, you're just making MicroPython stickers. What are you going to do with all that sticker money, Adafruit? Well, we Billions. have this little, <laughs> we have this notice that's very specific that says, each sticker purchase helps MicroPython. Well, 
The deal is not a lot of people buy stickers. Some people buy boards. Some people read the blog. But eight years has gone by. So we saw that um, this year, MicroPython has sponsorship enabled on GitHub. And the way it works is you give them money if you're on GitHub. And right now, I think they're waiving the fees. And you could be an individual sponsor. You can now be an organizational sponsor. And basically, what it does, when you give them money and they have goals, they want to get to $5,000 a month, continued maintenance of the software, recruiting additional maintainers of things like GitHub issues, funding purchase of development boards for new platforms, offering bounties for fixing bugs, investing in opportunities for paid development and paid documentation improvements. So um, this year um, was a different year because there's sponsorships on GitHub. You can sponsor one time. You can also sponsor as an organization because it's all new stuff with GitHub. Two years ago, um, we did a donation. We didn't talk about we didn't do anything. We just said, hey, Damien, and we, we just gave him the money. Yeah. We said, happy sixth birthday. Here's $6,000 to help the development with MicroPython because we build on top of MicroPython just like other bits of open source. That's right. And that's where the core of CircuitPython comes from because we do things like make hardware. And we make enough money to do other things with it, like give it to our employees. Right. And give it to other folks and donate folks, do, donate to folks. So this is all, this is how it, this is, this is success in action with, with uh, open source software and hardware. Yes. So uh, what we did was um, we looked and we said, hey, look at these sponsors. There's about 50 people that are sponsoring all together. Um, they're about 25% of their goal. And um, I was looking at the way GitHub allows you to do stuff as an organization now. So I flipped me from Phil to, to Adafruit because it yeah. says, hey, do you want to sponsor as Adafruit? And I'm like, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to sponsor as Adafruit. And uh, I hit the button and it said, congratulations, you sponsored MicroPython, 5000 bucks. So money's tight for us, just like it is for everybody else. We're recovering. We're trying to hire. Um, but we had enough budget. We did a PyCon sponsorship, and this is our MicroPython sponsorship. And I got this cute little email with, um, this is Mona, the Octocat. Happy Mona. And um, that's a $5,000 donation, and that means that they hit their goal for the month. Now, it doesn't show in the progress meter the same way because this is a one-time. So what we're hoping is other people or other organizations matches Adafruit and says, hey, I'm a company that bases my stuff on MicroPython too. Yeah. I'm going to take care of one full month. Bang. Bang. Go in there. Go. So we did it, and um, this is where they're at with the recurring ones. They're 25%, and then we did a one-time for 5K. Now, the cool thing about all this is people notice, and uh, this is a tweet we saw, and we're just like, whoa, that guy sounds familiar. Well, that was Nat Friedman, the co-founder and CEO of GitHub, and said, very cool to see the fine folks at GitHub give $5,000 to MicroPython Project with GitHub sponsors. Happy 8th birthday, MicroPython. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So Good work. this is how open source can work. So, if, you know, some folks would say, well, you know, there's no business model in any of this. You can't possibly sell hardware, software, give it all away. Can't do it, can't do it. And like, oh, there's there's different versions of everything. How come there's not just one version? Are there All these things. Yeah, but you say. this. Well, we're just proving there is a model that can work. Correct. And so we're hoping that other people get encouraged, consider sponsoring MicroPython. You can buy hardware from Adafruit, the boards. You can also buy our hardware that has CircuitPython on it. Or even something like MakeCode or Arduino, because you know what we're going to do with some of the money? We're going to give it to MicroPython. And so that is this week's, you know... Phil's soapbox. Rant, soapbox, whatever. I like the soapbox. But if, you're, but if you're building your stuff off open source... There are ways that you can do things. And most of all, you know, we're all just not like avatars and robots that do pull requests. We're humans. I think it's a good way to show that you appreciate what they're doing. Of course, contribute to the code. Of course, do things like documentation. Of course, you know, be in the community and be helpful. But if you have some way to sponsor in some way, please consider doing it. Yes. Happy eighth birthday, MicroPython. Happy birthday to you. And that's Python Hardware News. Thank you, Blinka. Thank you, MicroPython Snake, whatever your name is. <laughs>